That's more than enough to do the job. Good. So now you can see I have this going through this and then have this sit in there. And then all I have to do is just to waterproof this thing. Oops, got it backwards. See if this works too. Yep, this works too, beautifully. So now I can have this um, nail. Heh, got it backwards too. All right, so I can have this like that. That's my six feet creative web camera. Put it in there and then um, have this web camera in there, glue down. Um, now I'll put uh, some stuff in there to um, secure this web camera and then uh, waterproof this whole thing um, with uh, silicone sealant. And uh, there is our, there's our underwater camera. Oh. The other thing is I have these uh, in the way. Well, actually, I don't have to. Yeah, I, I do have these in the way, so I'm going to have to get rid of this. So let's. My, uh, Ten inch Acer laptop that I'm not using and uh, it's pretty old. And this is my Intel web camera. This is even older, but it does have a 10 feet long USB cable so I can easily put it into this one instead of using this one creative live which is only six feet long so I'm not using this uh, web camera I'm gonna change it to this Intel one which is a lot longer has a lot longer 10 feet instead of six feet so this one will have to go this USB web camera is going. Um, I'm not using that. I'm using my. I'm using this one, which is 10 feet long. USB camera. You know, this so one I'll be able to see much deeper. So here is the deal. I'm gonna put this. Um, web camera like that and then um, seal this thing and then lower this down to um, the bottom of the thing to see fish and this is a um, Intel CS430 it took me a while to find the web camera um, what do you call that driver for Windows 7 because they don't actually they don't even do this anymore anyway so here is here is the web camera I'm gonna try to what do you call that waterproof this waterproof this and waterproof this waterproof this and then lower this down to the lake bottom and then you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this 10 feet long US cable and you can see how this uh, camera is going to look. Okay, so Let's uh, capture it. I have this roofing ceiling. Um, let's see if it's going to work.
Here we go. So that's applied. Uh, See the sealant is coming out now. So I'm gonna apply very generously. And then over here. Wait for these to dry. I think it's gonna be about a day. Now it'll dry out. I don't think there's any other leak in here. So the next thing I'll do is gonna apply the sealant on this. And here too. Okay. And I'm gonna push this down, actually take it back because because I do have this here that I want to put it down first And then this. Then I put it down like that. Next is I want to put this put the glue around this thing so here we go generously around here and now I'm going to Apply very generously around this thing too. So it will seal very, very tight. There will be no water going in. And that's the plan. this around this very generously so that this will completely block the water from entering this box and 
and tomorrow when this thing is dry everything will be cool and I'm gonna apply this thing in there just like that just like that I use this um, sealant um, to tie the uh, acrylic uh, box and you can see that the uh, web camera is inside of this box so USB cable which is 10 feet long uh, plenty for my purpose I'm just gonna hook it up into my tent. this uh, underwater camera okay my last step is to wrap this um, flashlight around this underwater camera like that and then I'll be able to see what's down there with my web um, underwater camera so that's it there you have it and you can see it's pretty clear with that lead uh, flashlight and um, this ladder flashlight is pretty heavy so it's going to take this down to the deep water no problem and I'll tie a another wire here to pull the camera up and lower the camera down instead of pulling my using my USB cable to pull the camera up and down because um, you know, that's uh, just too, that's just going to put too much stress on my camera. So I'm going to tie this flashlight to this box after all this uh, glue is dried tomorrow. And it should take about 24 hours to dry, so I should be fine tomorrow this